California, and this is a Live in 5 show. I'm Justin Jones. And I'm Eva De La Rosa. We're broadcasting live from our Live in 5 studio here on campus. So Eva, do you have any plans for Veterans Day? Uh, not really. What about you? Uh, no, not really. Coming up, Serena Williams, a man who took her phone. We will fill you on the details of the robbery. Stick around and hear about the new movie in the heart of the sea, which is based off a true story. Thank you to all the veterans. I want to thank my great uncle, who used to be in the Navy. Thank you, Thea Joseph. Stay tuned for my weather report. The Falcons and the 49ers are going up against each other in an epic battle, but only one of them was so close to winning. We'll see you took the fall and took the victory in my upcoming sports report. Algae might become super products after these scientists are through with it. We have that story and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around. I state your name. I, I rise 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 Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. It's time for the Tesla play-by-play. Veterans Day may seem just like an off day, but it serves a much greater purpose. Veterans Day is a day to honor all of the veterans that served in the U.S. military, living or dead. It started off, it started off as a celebration for world peace, and today was <coughs> originally Armistice Day. The name and purpose was later changed, and it turned into the national holiday we now know as Veterans Day. Seventh graders, please return your field trip permission slips and lunch slips to your science teachers as soon as possible. Permission slips will not be accepted after today. If you are interested in earning an extra credit in your PE class and a mile run class, go to the fitness lab today during lunch. You'll get exciting details at the meeting. Again, that's at lunch today in the fitness lab. Water, water, water. Get your ice cold water at the studio store that comes with a free flavor packet with, with each bottle purchased. The price is just a buck. The studio store is open during lunch when the cafe doors close and after school. So quench your thirst at the studio store for just a dollar and pick a free flavor packet with, with, with every purchase. Today, we're bringing you daily action reaction segments. Also, every day will be a different topic. Tuesdays are parody days. Let's see what Yasi has for us in today's action reaction parody. Hi, this is Jesse here with the first parody of the week. Bart Baker made a parody, parody of Where Are You Now by Justin Bieber. Let's check it out. This video so dark you can barely see me. There's no lighting. Now you can see that I'm singing but my mouth is barely moving. Even though I got a brand new model girlfriend. 
Every week This song's about how I'm lonely Look at me pal I bite my lip, it's so cheesy Wow, that was great! Did you know that Bart Baker was born on Cinco de Mayo? That's it for this week. We'll see you next week. That's it for the play-by-play. -play. That's off. We'll be right back after the break. Late night feedings, first days, birthdays, and play days, man time, mom time, and bedtime. You've been free to be there for them. Let's remember who made that freedom possible. A local company called Hele is helping out plants with their green thumbs. Th their laboratory looks like a layer out of comic books ready to hatch their evil scheme. However, it's not exactly a plot to take over the world. In instead, they are planning to bring out the potential of algae, of algae. Science, technology, and market analysis, Dennis Brown said that algae is key to creating the next super products. It turned out that Arizona was a perfect algae lab for scientists. However, Chief Len Smith stated that turning the algae into business was a challenge. Hilly plans to work hard and make successful products for the future. Who will buy it all? Located near Vernon in Northwest Texas, the Wagner Ranch is 5,000 acres bigger than New York and Los Angeles put together. Okay. It holds more than 100 properties and oil preserves. It has enough water in one lake to store all of the water in Wichita Falls. Living on the land are 14,000 cows and 500 horses. To view a piece of its enormous borders requires a helicopter ride and a lot of time. The ultimate estimate is your estate is yours for 725 million. Anyone who wanted it had to had to wait until October to raise funds and submit an offer. Bernard Yurchgritz is an Australian realtor who lives in Texas. He has been given the task of selling the equestrian estate that has been in one family for, 160, for 165 years. He had been getting used to turning down offers from some of the richest people in the state. According to Yurchgritz, 50 future buyers had been given a tour <clears throat> and about 12 written offers have been sent. There had been a lot of fighting over dividing it when a judge bought the ranch. The results are expected to be announced after they finalize the deal. Check out David on today's entertainment report. Good morning, David. Watch the new movie in the heart of the sea about a crew stranded at sea after being attacked by a gigantic whale. This is a true story that inspired the book Moby Dick. After a whale of humongous, humongous size attacks the New England ship, in the year 1820, the crew struggles to survive adrift in the sea. Without food or fresh water and having to contend with fierce storms, the crew is pushed to, to their limits. In the heart of the sea comes out December 11th. Let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning. It's time for your earthquake update. Today in Perry, Oklahoma, they had a... And in Soledad, California, this morning. Today's pollen index will be a 3.5. Moving through the week, the high will be a 4.1 on Friday. Here in Los Angeles, we're going to be getting some bright sun. Up in the north, they're going to be looking at a chance of rain. Moving to the east, they're also going to be looking at rain, and, part, and it's going to be partly sunny over there. Down in the south, it's going to be partly sunny also. Here in Los Angeles, our high will be 68. Moving to the north, they're going to be looking at much cooler temperatures with low 40s up to high 50. In the east, high 60s, and in the south, high 70s. It's time for our five-day forecast. Today's high will be 72, and our low will be 45. Moving through the week, our high will be 77 this Saturday. Looks like these girls are at the fun run. Thanks for supporting our school. <laughs> Look like they're having fun with their family. Don't forget to send us your birthday pics and your social pics. Direct message them to us on Instagram at TetsLoffCA. Thanks again to all the veterans. It's now time to check out the Daily Web Poll with Jace. Good morning. 
Thank you, Victoria. Good morning. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Combos. He, he was in World War, not, sorry, not World War II. I'm thinking of my grandpa. He was a Navy veteran. Good morning. Good morning. Well, if I was, I look really good for my age. Yeah, that w that's true. <laughs> so what got you to join the Navy? Um, I was 18, uh, and I was looking to do something uh, meaningful, uh, positive, and exciting. So the Navy looked like a really good choice, and it turned out to really be you know, that, that it was. Thank you for joining the Navy. We appreciate your service. <laughs> Will you please just re read this week's poll for us? Sure. Who should be the next president of the United States? Here's what our viewers said. I think Ben Carson should be president because America can have a president that can go, that can gain political experience as he is president. And another student said, I think Bernie Sanders should be president because he will put more money into the education of young people. To vote, visit us online at liveandfivejoe.com. We want to hear your opinions and put them on the air. Send so direct message us on Instagram at TedsLoffCA. So Mr. Compost, who do you think should be the next president? Well, there is quite a few people um, running uh, this election cycle for president. So, you know, I, I really haven't uh, made up my mind as far as who I want to vote for. But what I do look for as far as qualities for someone who wants to be president of the United States, um, how do they feel about issues about education, health care, uh, political experience, which I think was a great point uh, that, that you just read, and also are they looking to really um, strengthen our local communities as well and how you know, they can play a role in that. Yeah, I think the next president should be able to help education for everybody. Uh, I would just like to thank you for coming on the show and I would like to thank you for serving our country and I would like to thank all the veterans who served our country. We just, we, we couldn't have done this without you. You protect us. So now it's time to check in with Sports with Raj. Good morning. Thank you, Chase. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Mirage Bailey, and this is your sports news. The Falcons are a legendary is a legendary football team. They've won many games, but they never saw it coming when they were up against the 49ers. Sadly, the Falcons lost to the 49ers at a score of 16 to 17. On the second quarter of the game, Gar Garrett Kellick, who was the 49 who was on the 49ers team, he made a 19-yard pass to one of his teammates. And for the Falcons on the fourth quarter. Matt Bryant made a 19-yard field goal, but wasn't enough to defeat the 49ers. Lionel Messi is one of the most rewarded players because of his amazing skills. Messi modern, Messi's modern contract will continue until 2018 and will stay as Barcelona's star. Lionel's, Lionel, Messi's, Lionel Messi continued, uh, commit, commented that he may leave Barcelona and will get to decide what part he wants in the time to come. Jeff Jones has finally retired after, after almost 40 years in the Major League Baseball. Jones was a pitching coach for the Detroit Tigers. He was working for the Detroit Tigers as a coach until he thought it was time to leave. Jones explains that he would like to spend more time with his family. He has been working since the 70s as a pitch, pitching coach. That wraps it up for sports. Time to check out the Daily 401. Thank you, Arash. How many sales did the iPad 2 have in the have as as of 2014? 10 million, 12 million, 16 million, or 20 million? Take five. Apple sold almost 12.3 million iPad 2s in 2014. Tennis star Serena Williams recently chased a man down for accidentally taking her phone. While in a Chinese <coughs> restaurant, she eyeballed a man that was standing around for too long. She felt uncomfortable since her phone was sitting in another chair. Suddenly, the man grabbed the phone and walked out of the restaurant. He began running when he realized he was being pursued by Williams. However, it was no use. Will Williams caught up with him. After Serena asked if he accidentally grabbed the wrong phone, he said yes. She took her phone and went back to the restaurant. Upon going back inside, <coughs> everyone cheered for Williams. Think she got her phone back. Way to go, Serena. That's up our show for today. We'll see you on Thursday, because tomorrow's Veterans Day. Thank you, Veterans. Have a wonderful day.